Hey, what's up guys? This is Ashenox. Today I'm super excited to showcase this brand new three-star hero, Glenn. And I'll be reviewing him as I'm showcasing him at the same time. Let me show you guys his stats and his gear. Let's do it. I feel like Glenn will definitely be a game changer in Epic 7 since he's only a three-star hero and he is very accessible. Now you can counter revive mechanism because of his extinction on skill number two. You're getting greater attack buff, 75% attack increase, getting an extra turn, uh, building souls, and then boom, you take out the target. That hero is out of the equation. You don't have to worry about that hero coming back on the board uh, from revive. Extinction, done. And then you got defense break on skill number one. So, I mean, his kit is so good. So, so good. You want to squeeze an extra bit of damage, turn on his uh, imprint concentration for some flat attack. Now, let me show you guys his stats and his gear. So, 3200 attack, over 200 speed, over 300% crit damage, 100% crit chance. I don't have much effectiveness if I want to, if I want to like land some defense breaks. But that's gonna be okay so that is his gear and he is on portrait of the saviors so let's test him out in arena and see how he performs and i'll uh, review him give you guys my thoughts uh while we fight let's do it up baby let's go okay let's go man cr push with judith three star thief we got Hurado here to counter the healing. We got the uh, immunity removal. Doesn't matter. He's got the Gil's Ancient Book. Okay. Is she she's not gonna jump. Nah, that I thought that I would outspeed by by more, so it's okay, it's okay. Okay, now we get the current attack buff. We got the soul burn. Let's see how much damage we can do. Oh my god. It's gonna be so much. Here we go. Oh my, 26,000! 26, 26,000, you can take out anyone with him, really. Like, I mean, Arbiter Vildred, you can take him out even if there's Aureus, even if there's Adam and Shield and there's Barrier. You're gonna pull through with the Soul Burn, for sure. Your gear level can be much lower than mine, and you'll be able to do it. Now, uh, can I take Emelkin out? Because if I can't, I think we're done here. Okay, 24,000 light versus dark. Easy mode. Okay, nice. Uh, let me just clean this up because there's no way they come back from this. Let's move on to the next battle. Let's test Sigrid versus Glenn here. Sigrid will not have an attack buff. Let's see what will happen. She is on oath key to counter Moonlight Dreamblade. So here we go here, uh, we do have Bazaar to uh, deal with the defense uh, buff, we have uh, Bazaar for, uh, well, crippling the enemy team, let's see, here we go, now I will actually use Glenn to take out Martial Artist Ken, because he, he probably has more health than Arbiter Vildred, that's usually the case. So let's see how much damage he can do. Can he take him out? Let's see how much damage. There is Aureus in the team. 14,800. This is cutting it close though. This is definitely cutting it close. Some martial artists can have more than 15,000 health. But if you go against uh, Seaside Bellona, your Earth versus uh, Ice, you'll be able to uh, pull through. So 11,300 from Sigrid. She actually has way better uh, stats than uh, Glenn, actually. Uh, she's got better base stats. She actually has over 500 attack and over 15% critical hit damage over uh, Glenn. But Glenn, you know, 75% attack increase because of uh, the, well, the uh, greater attack buff. It's helping a ton. So now, uh, yeah, let, let's just, uh, I kind of want to take out Ruel, huh? uh, because now the thing is, I'm using double extinction heroes, so it's pretty sweet. I'm able to, nice dual attack there, I'm able to just take two heroes out of the board, they will not be revived, it's all good. 
very cool. And the thing is, you can bring Glenn with so many different team compositions because he is self-sufficient. Uh, He's getting the grid attack buff by himself. You don't have to worry about bringing attack buffer uh, for him. I mean, it's already uh, it's already there. So we'll take uh, Ruel out here. I'm pretty confident in this. She's getting an extra turn. Well, without an attack buff, still dealt quite a bit of damage. Actually, let's use Glenn here. Let's use Glenn against uh, Krau. Let's see. 18,000 damage. 18,225 damage. Very nice. So because, of course, you don't have to worry about an Aureus. Uh, if he's wearing the Aureus, then you don't have to worry about that. Very nice. Double Extinction Heroes, I got Guider, Aether for the sustain here, some extra damage. I don't even have skill ups into him, just like 3 and 2 skill 3. So uh, let's go here first. And uh, I actually want to deal with uh, Seaside Bellona. Can Glenn do it with the Soul Burn? Uh, that's one of the reasons why I brought uh, Guider Aether, is because I need the souls from the Gil's Ancient Book. But you don't need to have the Gilles Ancient book, uh, book uh, maxed out as well. So that's pretty nice. Let's see here. There's no barrier from, from me falling to Cecilia. 16,400. That was pretty sweet right there. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay, uh, we got Cigarette going next. Let's apply a barrier on the team. And uh, yeah, we'll use this thing here. I do have the exclusive equipment for the barrier. And it's looking fairly thick. You know, my attack is not so high on this hero. And now uh, we're going to use skill 3 for the extinction of Sigrid on uh, Arbiter Vildred. She is on Oath Key. There's no, uh, there's no uh, attack buff for herself. So, uh, yeah, it works. It works. Um, but you can see the difference like of Glenn with the great attack buff versus Sigrid that has over 500 attack over him. And uh, she also has uh, over 15% crit damage over him as well. So, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. And uh, we'll just clean up here. The thing is, Glenn can be used in a team of, uh, you know, a team of bruisers. You can bring him in there and he's going to just work out because he has uh, the crit attack buff. You don't need an attack buffer. You don't need to worry about him. He can do his job by himself. You can just bring some sustain, a combat unit booster. It's just going to work out just fine. Bringing Arbiter Vildred in this one just to clean this up faster. And we got uh, Hurado, which is actually uh, pretty nice. Maybe we can push their uh, combat unit a bit. There we go. Nice. And uh, now we can just use uh, Glenn to deal with uh, Arbiter Vildred. And we don't even need to soul burn, but I still will do it. So, so much damage. Like, God, you can do just fine with much lower gear level than what I have on my Glan. Like, he's definitely a game changer. This hero is shaking things up, allowing everyone to counter Arbiter Vildred and Revive Mechanism. Love it. And extremely accessible. And I would say that if you don't have a way to deal with revive mechanism, by all means, build your Glenn now. If you don't have him, well, you'll eventually manage to pull him. Let's actually uh, focus on uh, Bazaar. They have a lot of sustain, right? And uh, I didn't bring sustain in my team. Uh, Hurado with uh, the solids, man. The solids on the, the, the skill one is so good. Oh, man. And you know what? I'm going to turn off my skills here. I'd like to uh, just use the extinction of uh, Glenn on uh, on the end. And uh, actually, you know what? I have to play this because I have to remove their, their buffs. That's the thing. We got the silence to go off on uh, Ruel. Very nice. And uh, look at this now. Okay, Ruel, she can't do nothing, and uh, the end, she's ready to buff. But you know what? I don't care. I will be removing her buffs if possible. There we go. And... Oh, boy. This just happened. This just happened. And now we can deal with uh, this Ruel with uh, Glenn. I think he does have his... Uh, 
his buffs. Oh, here we go. The extra turn allow him to cycle faster. And now the skill 2 is ready. And then he can go. And that's the end. We win. So good. I would build Glan with a speed set. Speed immunity or speed crit and that's gonna work out just fine for you now you do need the soul burn when you're facing a fallen cecilia that barrier will help them too much you have to deal with the barrier and not have the soul burn you're you're probably gonna be able to pull through but if there is a barrier and multiple layers of protection was that 18,000? 18,000 damage my god okay very nice very, very nice. So, I actually want to work on this uh, Fallen Cecilia. There's the Aureus on Crow, of course. And uh, let, let's just soften, soften them up a bit. And hopefully we can sustain this with uh, Guider Aether. Which, like, the skill ups, uh, yeah, only 3 and 2, S3, that's it. Hopefully we can pull through on that one. And... I'm very, very uh, happy with uh, the performance of Glenn. I want to showcase him in Guild Wars. I want to showcase him in World Arena as well. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, I I'm just going to use skill 1 here to deal with the skill nullifier. I'm not quite ready. Oh, my God. Oh, no, provoke. Good, good, good. So uh, I can just lower their health. Uh, I'm bringing our Brother Vildred because I don't want this thing to last forever, right? Like, I, I don't want to fight for an hour in here. Not, no Provoke again. That decreased hit chance is just so good. So, the good thing is that uh, we're losing Judith and not someone else here. Oh, they're getting healed. I don't have to worry about landing Extinction on anyone because they don't have, like, a Ruel of Light. But if they do have Ruel, if they have anyone that does revive, then make sure that uh, you're, uh, you know, against tankier heroes, lower those heroes up first before you, uh, before you commit with uh, the extinction. If you don't, well, uh, you're gonna have some issues. Definitely gonna have some problems. The defense buff is quite annoying here. The Elbrus is triggering constantly. And uh, the, the sustain is uh, quite annoying. Look at that, man. We're, we're provoked on all three heroes. What do you want me to do here? Okay, we got the defense break. Very nice. This allows you to, like, you might get that opportunity, you know, throughout the battle. And that could be a game changer for you. That continuous healing is pretty sweet. But he's going down here. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see. So... To be honest, I can do it with uh, the Great Attack buff versus Fallen Cecilia. That's one down. The issue is that uh, crowd. 15,000. Defense buff is uh, extremely powerful. You have to uh, definitely worry about that. If they are able to get that defense buff going, uh, you definitely want to lower them before uh, committing with the extinction. Now, let's look at uh, Nice defense break again. Wow. Wow, build some effectiveness on your Glen if you're going for longer battles. It's definitely going to pay off, guys. Definitely. I don't even have much effectiveness uh, at all on, on mine. And you can see that he's, uh, he's doing perfectly fine. I'm waiting for the... Wow, it's, it's already ready. This thing is ready. My god. Okay. I think that's going to be it. That seals the deal. Nice. And look at this, like, he performed very well. Alexis Basket is on Arbiter Vildred. You know, like, if he had an attack buff throughout the battle, it would be better. But then, you know, Glenn would probably have attack buff uh, during the battle as well, when his great attack buff would not be up. And if he has great attack buff and you have an attack buffer with him, you're going to be able to prolong that uh, great attack buff. Especially if you're pairing him with a hero that has a three-turn attack buff, that's going to be very cool. Let us know what you think about Glenn in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you loved it, well, subscribe to the channel. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Ashnox. Peace out for now.